welcome in the last lecture we have studied the mass pulley system and in this lecture we are going to deal with the mass pulley system having some constraint relations so i will start from a problem and the problem is so this is a problem consider there are two pulleys uh, and this is in some order in this manner and there are two blocks a and b so let us first have the proper statement of the question that the mass of a is equal to m mass of block b is your 3m thrice of particle of thrice of block a and this is your fixed pulley and the second one this is your movable pulley this is your movable pulley so now the question is to find the acceleration of the both the blocks find the acceleration of a is equal to what acceleration of b block is what and what is the tension in the spring so this is the problem so now we will solve this problem so for solution i have rubbed all these things so you so first let us draw the forces on these blocks so uh, this mass is your m so this force is your mg let us suppose the tension in this string is t and tension this is t and the same tension will be in this rope so this is t and the same tension will be in the third row because all is having the same uh, length in the string which is here uh, hanging the wall hanging the block b this tension is different because the rope is different let us call it as t dash so let us write the equation of uh, free body diagram and equation of motions for these blocks and this force is a force on b is 3 times 3 mg times that is z so equation of motion for block b let us write for block b so this is block b of mass 3 mg having a downward uh, gravitational force that is 3 mg and tension t dash in the upward direction and is overall motion is in downward direction so let us suppose that the acceleration of this block is a1 so from here the newton's equation of motion is 3 mg minus t dash is equal to m 3 m that is a1 let us call this as equation number 1 and now a uh, similar analysis for block a so for block a this is your block a having a mass mg downward direction tension t upward direction and let us have it acceleration as a2 and we don't know what the acceleration is so from here the newton's equation of motion is t minus mg is equal to mass times acceleration so we have two equations that is uh, and we have three unknowns so we have two equations that are equation number 1 and equation number 2 and we have three unknowns to be find that are uh, your a1 a2 and t so you cannot solve these you cannot find these three unknowns using these two equations if you have n unknowns then you must have n equations to solve to find the value of each so now we need the equation uh, one constraint relation which relates that a1 a2 and t in some manner so that you can find these values and see there is one more constraint uh, one more to be find that is t prime because you also don't know t prime so let us write the equation of constraint write the equation of this pulley so from here it will be t dash minus 2t is equal to mass of pulley into the acceleration of pulley let the acceleration of pulley is in this direction so the acceleration of pulley is same as acceleration of block m so this is one since we have considered all these pulley are massless so these all are massless pulley so the mass of the pulley is zero here so you can simply find t dash is equal to 2t so you have a relation between t dash and t so these two unknowns are now not independent they are dependent on each other so if you know one you can find out other so one more uh, relation is there which relates between a1 and a2 and it is a very useful trick in 
simply here it is two strings one is having the same tension t and one is having the t dash and in the coming next next question you will see there are multiple ropes there and you will have to find the constraint relation so it is very important to understand here because it has only one string having this tension so i am using the relation that is consistency of length so using that relation let me find so i am using consistency of length consistency of length means that the length of the rope is not changing so, uh, i am making it here very dark so see suppose from here starting the length of the rope is this much plus this rope plus that now let me call this point as a this point as b this point as c this point as d this point as e this point as f so the total length ab plus bc plus cd plus de plus ef is constant that is not going to change any how okay because it is inextensible string as we have assumed in all the problems so let us say is that when the motion was about to start it length was l1 this length was l2 and this length was l3 so we have one relation that the total length of the string is l1 plus l2 plus l3 at initial states now consider that uh, the block that the block uh, as when the motion is started the length was l1 plus l2 plus n3 as we go further the length the total length is not going to be changed so suppose that at initial state uh this block let me write it here this block a1 moves a distance x2 in the upward direction moves a distance x2 in the upward direction so at, when a goes up then uh, this pulley which have length l2 and l3 must goes downward so let us say this pulley go downward by a length x1 so now the now the length total length will be given by see l1 has decreased by x2 x2 amount and l2 and l3 has increased by x1 amount so this is l2 plus x1 plus l3 plus x1 so let us write uh, these all three so this l1 l2 l3 l1 l2 l3 will cancel out so this is 2 x1 is equal to x2 so from here you will get 2 x1 is equal to x2 let us differentiate uh, it two times so this is 2 x double dot 1 is equal to x2 double dot so x1 double dot is nothing but acceleration in this direction so this is 2 times a1 is equal to a2 see how beautifully from const consistency of length we have arrived that the we have arrived the expression how the two acceleration as related now we have uh, now i'm rewriting the equations and uh, just solving these so we have arrived these equations so this equation can simply be written as 3mg minus 2t using this relation so this is 3m a1 and this equation you can write it as t is equal to m a2 plus g and this a2 is nothing but 2 times of a1 so this is this implies that t is equal to m 2 a1 plus g substitute this t here and you will have the value of a so this equation will be 3mg plus 2m 2a1 plus g is equal to 3m a1 sorry this is minus so this will be 325 this is 3mg minus mg minus 2mg is equal to 437 m a1 this implies that a1 is simply g by 7 so acceleration at block a is equal to g by 7 and you know that a2 is equal to 2 times of a. this is 2 g by 7 and the tension is uh, m times 2 a1 plus g from this equation so t So tension is simply equal to 13 mg by 7 you can calculate it so this was the way how we deal with the constraint motion so the most important part was the consistency of length where you relate 
the acceleration the acceleration of different blocks directly by length consistency so let us have one more example and i am not going to solve it full but i will show how the consistency of length works you just see how the ropes are how the strings are attached to each other and just write the equation you can find the acceleration dependence just in 10 seconds i will show you in this question how so i intentionally made this diagram as big as possible and there are two blocks a and b having mass uh, m and 2m and see there are three pulleys let me uh, call them as pulley number 1 pulley number 2 and pulley number 3 and there is a single string which are uh, in a uh, circular direction going attached to this and a constant force f is applied on it this force is constant constant force f, f is applied on the block b which have mass 2m and it is on a smooth horizontal surface and there is a horizontal motion and the question is to find accelerations in the string so let us assume that the acceleration of this block is a1 this block is a2 and uh, uh, corresponding let me let us have this the tension in the string is t this tension in the string is t this tension t this is t this is t and this is t so now we have uh, see the problem is simple we just have to find out the equation of motions there are three unknowns a1 a2 and the tension so while writing the equation of motion for block a we have what this is block a and it has a force of t t t t that is 4t two t's from pulley number 1 and two t's from pulley number 2 so this is 4t and its mass is m so this equation is 4 times t is equal to mass times acceleration this is a1 okay and for block b there is a block b having mass 2m and the constant force f is applied on it and there is a force in the opposite direction which have 3t c one tens is the this force and there is a one tension force in this direction so there is 3t so the force of this magnitude is 3 times tension and the next acceleration having is this a in the a2 direction it has in a1 direction so now the equation of motion f minus 3t is equal to mass times or acceleration 2m times a2 this is a simple part now there are two equations having a1 a2 and t and we have three now the consistency of length works see i am not going to write l1 l2 l3 and all that i just have a trick so the trick is see keep block b fix keep the block b fix and move a slightly as slightly towards b and see how many strings gets disturbed see if i move if i fix the block b and move the block a in the slightly direction then this block will have an effect this block have an effect this and this this four string will have a effect this will be loose or something kind like that so this acceleration multiplied by the number of strings which affected so this is four times acceleration a1 now the same process repeats now repeat the same observation keep the block a fixed and move the block b in the direction of a and see how many uh, strings are get as affected so this string will get affected this will get affected and this will get affected so three string would get a slightly looser so three times that a2 okay so that is a relation between a1 and a2 if you calculated by length consistency uh, consistency you will find this equation so now you have three equations that having a1 a2 and t and you have three uh, equations and three unknowns now you can simply eliminate these and solve this so my idea of today was to introduce you how to 
calculate the strings uh, if there are uh, several pulleys and the string is connected so one equation of motions one constraint relation can also be uh, calculated from there something was to introduce you just have, without wasting your time having this trick and you can solve all this so this was the for today and in the upcoming lecture we will solve uh, some several problems on pulley that will be directly uh, from formula based and we will solve some uh, problems where having one string and there are three four masses so what happens there and then we will solve some drag force problems the terminal velocity i have introduced a little bit but we will solve in detail the drag force problem and uh, the terminal velocity concept so if you have not subscribe my channel subscribe the channel for latest update and share it your to your friends and your valuable comments are always welcome uh, comment what i can improve in my upcoming videos so thank you thank you very much